Welcome back to M. Ratthitch channel, the best place to learn table tennis. The video has the subtitle. Please turn on captioning for better understanding. John J.K. Lesson 13. Build your playing style. Hello everyone. Welcome to my table tennis masterclass. During the making of this course, I also collected some questions that several classmates sent me private messages on Diane. I want to focus on answering this question in the last class. I would also like my personal opinion. It can bring you more inspiration in practicing table tennis. The first student's question is, your playing style is considered to be fierce and aggressive. When did you probably find your own playing style? I can't say when I found this style. This should be regarded as the style that I have been consistent in playing since I was a child. Maybe a little young and energetic at first. Like to pursue speed and power in any technology. One in any situation. They all take an offensive approach to respond to their opponents. But in the subsequent training and competition process, I found that my physical ability and technical style of play are more suitable. This style it has continued like this. The second student's question is, you have a particularly high rate of winning in major tournaments. May I ask how you did it? This may be because I have a better mentality during the game. Mentality. This matter still has to start from the 2009 World Cup team finals. That was my first major victory on behalf of the Chinese team. That victory. It can be said that it has built up a lot of confidence and belief in me. After that successful experience, I started looking forward to the next competition. For me, completed the mission by participating in the World Series. For the first time, that feeling is wonderful. A good attitude and confidence are slowly built up. Then it's important to believe in yourself. Many athletes before the game. I always worry about what will happen if I lose. In fact, competitive sports are very It's just simple. about winning and losing. Sometimes I think more about positive aspects. Here I will also tell you some little secrets. It's just that I usually don't watch videos of games that I lose. I think that will deepen my wrong memory. Affect one's own mentality. Because every game you lose, Basically everyone knows where to lose. So, I don't want this memory to deepen. But before every game, preparation for your opponent must be perfect. In fact, at the beginning of many games, I am very nervous because of the table tennis Especially game. Especially the singles matches are all finals. I will face every opponent very carefully. Especially in the first few rounds. Many people will think that my performance in the first few rounds was not ideal, not enough attention. Actually, I can tell you now. It's because I'm too nervous and careful. As a result, the performance is not so smooth. In addition, the opponents in the previous rounds did not know that well. So the feeling given to the audience is, I didn't mobilize enough in the first few rounds. But as the game progresses, the more I fight, the more relaxed I will become. Especially when it comes to a table, I will enjoy this atmosphere very much. This is my process before preparing for a competition. This state will make me feel very comfortable during the game. Whether it's the worry of tension or the final release. I have found a pattern that belongs to me. So you also need to find a mode that suits your pre-match preparations. The third student's question is about mentality. Do you have any training techniques? This is a good question. When I usually train, I will silently plan my opponents. For example, asking for help from someone who is relatively awkward. I will practice with him more. Give a dozen. Then when you see the opponent training to topspin the ball, for example, topspin it 10 times. Then I will topspin it 11 times. Someone else ran 1000 meters. Then I will definitely run more than him. in this process. The other party has no idea that I am confronting him. And this kind of secret competition is particularly important. For the establishment of mentality, it allows me to find a goal for myself at any time. Improve your concentration and self-confidence. Also keep yourself in a positive attitude. 
Okay. The above is the cruelty of competitive sports that I want to share with you. Just one chance. Looking at it the other way around, this is also its greatest charm. I believe you have understood in this course and learned some table tennis skills and skills. But I also hope that in this course, you can find the new charm that table tennis brings to you. Although the course is coming to an end, but none of us have graduated, but a new beginning. Come on, see you on the table tennis table. Translated by Pinkson Day. Hello,欢迎你们来到我的乒乓球大师课。在制作这门课程期间，我也收集了几位同学在抖音私信我的一些问题。我想在最后一堂课上集中回答一下，也希望我的个人意见能够给你练习乒乓球中带来更多的启发
。相信你已经在这个课程中理解，并且学到了一些乒乓球的技巧和技能。但我也希望在这个课程当中，你能找到乒乓球带给你的全新魅力。虽然课程即将结束，但我们每个人都没有毕业，而是一个崭新的开始。加油，我们球场上见。Read more about table tennis on my blog, pingsunday.com. Get free ebook and coaching advices. See you in the next video.